All right, what I'd like to do is show you guys how to simplify two monomials division. We have a monomial on top, then we have a monomial on the bottom. So again, what we're going to do is I'm only going to be cons I'm only going to work with the numbers that are that have the same bases. So therefore, my seven and my twenty-one, those are both my numbers. They're going to be base. So I, if I look at this, I have negative seven divided by twenty-one. I can simplify that to a negative one third. Then I have x to the fifth divided by x to the seventh. I know when I have uh, exponent or exponents and I'm dividing them, then I'm going to subtract the exponents. So that's going to be x to the negative 2. y to the fifth divided by y to the fifth. We know that 7 divided by 7 equals 1. So 7 to the eighth power divided by 7 to the eighth power is also going to equal 1. So this equals 1. And z to the fourth, z squared, is going to be z squared. So, now I'll just go ahead and rewriting this. Um, I know that my three is essentially, it's a fraction, so I can write the three on the bottom. Uh, my x to the negative, using the law of exponents, I know that the x squared is gonna go on the bottom. And this, my one times z squared is the only, only thing that's gonna be on top. So I'll have a z squared over, this is negative, three x squared. The y's cancel out the one. And I have my z on top, it's negative, and the 3 is essentially on the bottom, x squared. You also, I mean, rewrite it like this. That's exactly, you know, same thing. You can still write that 3 third, or the negative 1 third. But just re if you wanted to have that 1, so you know what you're doing. But the main important thing to make sure you're doing is you can only subtract exponents from the same basis. The x's from the x's, the y's from the y's, and the z's from the z's. Right, so that's how you simplify two monomials when dividing.